Oh, that's right, baby. It is time for J-Rock's all for the one and only movie, The Eternals. J-Rock says this. It is time to answer the question, which one was better? Was it the movie or was it the trailer? This uh, this movie got a lot of Rotten Tomato uh, ratings. Not so good. So what did J-Rock think? Well, the answer may surprise you. Come on back. Let's do the damn thing. Finally, J Rock has come back to you, too. What is hat? Nin, 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 with the millions. <laughs> And millions of J Rock's fans from all over the world. J Rock got an opportunity to finally check out The Eternals, or as Medea would say it, uh, The Eternals. So, J Rock is going to go through the trailer. If this is your first time on the Great Ones channel, first of all, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the Great Ones channel. No cost you a dime, all right? Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're supporting the Great One on this journey to 1 million subscribers. You don't want to miss what's coming down, all right? Also, if you're enjoying the content, uh, hit that like button and share and make sure you go back and check out the other great ones channel J-Rock has got a full library of Electrifying videos and reactions. All right, make sure you go and check them out But if it's your first time on J-Rock's channel and we're doing a, a movie versus trailer review. What the hell is that? Well, J-Rock says this it is simply uh, J-Rock's version of a movie review because J-Rock is uh, Sick and tired of seeing trailers for movies that get hype amp pumped up and watch the movie only realize that the trailer was more exciting, more more uh, uh, electrifying, if you will, than the actual movie itself. In those instances, J-Rock would say the damn trailer was better than the movie. And so J-Rock is gonna compare to see, are they putting things in these trailers that aren't literally making it to the final cut? Are they, you know, perfectly editing scenes in, to mash them together in the trailer, you know, to try to, you know, give ideas of what may be happening in the movie that aren't really happening, okay? All right, so. J Rock says this. We're not gonna waste no time. Come on, let's get to it right now. All right, J Rock says this. For those of you who uh, have gone on the Great Ones page and you voted on the poll that I have up uh, about which one do you think was better, the movie or the trailer? Um, I'll have to say the answer to this one. Of most of you have voted. Some of you say you hadn't saw it, uh, but most of you voted kind of surprised me a little bit i'm not gonna lie it's kind of surprising if you haven't voted make sure you go on the great ones page and check out his poll and you cast your vote if you've seen the movie yet let jay rock know which one you thought was better the movie or the trailer and put it in the comment section as well now jay rock says this this movie wasn't what i thought it was gonna be. doesn't mean it was good or bad just wasn't what i thought it was gonna be. by watching the trailer to the movie right while you hear some tie-ins to Thanos and, you know, the Marvel Universe, one could easily surmise that there's going to be some sort of connection to them other than, you know, the Thanos. More Marvel, okay? But this seems like it's its own universe compared to that one, right? Now, I, look, I don't read the comic books, so... If there's a better tie-in than that, y'all let me know. But I don't read the comics, all right? So let's go through the trailer. Let's check out what's happening. Let's see what's going on right here, okay? Now, J-Rock doesn't remember everybody's name, okay? But I'll do my best to remember those who I can remember, all right? So there is this being known as a celestial by the name of Arashim, Arashim, something like that, who I guess is the creator of all he surveyed right he created these deviants right these monsters wild looking animal type things that you'll see in the trailer here but they were getting out of control and so he created the eternals selected these eternals with special powers and abilities to kind of keep the deviants in check so you have this supposedly tug of war between good and evil some people were trying to say it was 
similar to the Bible and that it, maybe it is. I don't really quite see it that way, but okay, whatever. Right? Uh, um, too many things that people believe about the Bible, you know, that have been passed down from generation to generation just aren't really there. They're just really just, you know, myths and old folklores that, you know, people extract from the Bible and just come up with their own theories and aren't really that the Bible itself aren't says it, it, they are true, but whatever. I'll leave that alone for now. But with that being said, he creates these eternals to kind of keep these deviants in check, right? And so these deviants come to earth, right? So guess what? The eternals got to come to earth. Let me back up for a second. The eternals came to earth and they had been there for thousands of years. And so now when Thanos snapped his fingers, well, not when Thanos, when Hulk snapped his fingers and brought everybody back that Thanos got rid of. Apparently this created enough energy for the coming of a new celestial, right? But with the birth of a celestial, said planet is evaporated, if you will. And I'm, I may not have all the facts, all the details right, but y'all smell what Jay Rock is cooking, okay? You'll know enough to understand what's happening in this movie. I'm a very straightforward kind of guy, all right, in most instances, so you know, all of the pertinent details about it. You can just watch the movie and get it for yourself. But with that being said, Arisham is creating another celestial. And they have, I think, like a week before it happens. But keep in mind, these Eternals have been on Earth for thousands of years. They have families. They've built relationships with people that they don't want to have. Some of them have, have, have children. They don't want them to die. So now they got to figure out is there a way for us to stop this from happening? Let's pick it up in the trailer right here at the beginning. See Selma Hayek with her fine sex and all this. But the people of this planet brought everyone back with a snap of a finger. All right, so she plays a celestial, I'm um, not a celestial, and an eternal by the name of Ajax, okay? And I guess you can say she's like the leader of the group Ajax is. Like, she is the one who has direct, a, this orb or something in her that allows her to hear and speak directly to the creator, uh, Arisha, you know, this celestial with six eyes, all right? And so, with that being said, she is telling the other uh, eternal named Icarus. Icarus is the, you know, the being who's like Superman. You know, he's like Homelander from the uh, the boys show. You know, can shoot beams from his eyes, can fly. I think he has super strength as well. Um, and so he reminded me a lot of Homelander without the cape, of course. Um, she's telling him what's happening, right? And this is like in the middle of the movie. She's telling him what happened, how it came to be, and what happened to bring it all about. Like I said, that you know, when Hulk snapped his finger, brought everybody back. You know, this is this is what's happening right now. The sudden return of the population provided the necessary energy for the emergence to begin. Emergence is what it's called. Okay. So this here, right towards this is towards the like the climax of the movie where they're trying to stop it from happening Seven days. now right here would give you the impression that icarus is trying to think of a way to stop it from happening but that's not the case right this rudy poo is actually okay because he ends up killing oh yeah by the way spoilers are here okay so if you don't want the movie spoiled for you just no spoilers are here he ends up killing Age. Well, he don't kill her, all right? He throws her off a cliff down to where some deviants are. The One of the deviants has this ability to absorb the, the powers of the Eternals, right? So this deviant is trying to get all the powers of the Eternal to become this almighty being, right? And trying to wipe out other Eternals from other universes or whatever. And so he throws her down there. She ends up getting killed. Her powers are absorbed. I can't remember what her powers are. By this uh, being or by this deviant, right? Because 
Icarus says he realizes that hey, the all I, I I live to serve the Almighty Arsh, and if this is what he wants done, so be it. If billions of people are gonna die, a whole planet is gonna die, so be it. What's done is done. I don't want to have to face the wrath of Arsh, right? So he betrays the Eternal, and so he's trying to protect the as it was called the Emergence, trying to make sure it happens. So he's fighting everybody in the Eternals by himself. This is right at the beginning. That's the orb that was given in her. Mm -hmm. This is right at the beginning. Right at the deviant. Yep. All right, so this is one of the, these are one of the, uh, I guess she's like the ultimate hero in the movie. But she has this ability to heal and, you know, create stuff and bring life. So I guess, you know, that's why she's like the head lady or whatever. All right, she becomes the leader after Ajax is killed. And so she's talking to her boyfriend at the time. Because remember, they've gone on to live lives. I think she's like a teacher or something anyway. Now, she used to be the girlfriend of Icarus, right? Long time ago, they were together, right? Her and Icarus, right? Ends up getting together. But after they come to Earth and they kind of get separated, she goes her way, he goes his, and you know, now she's dating this guy who wants to move in with her, but she ain't really ready for it. And now he's explaining to her after he just found out because a deviant shows up to attack her to try to gain her powers. All right, they fight her. They fight him off because she has the ability to do stuff, create stuff. All right, touch something and turn something else. Then Icarus shows up to help and fight off the, you know, the deviant or whatever. And then you know he finds out who she really is because he had a feeling like something off about you or whatever. And now then he finds out. Oh yeah, that's why. And so now he's questioning her about Thanos. There is Arisham, the creator, the ultimate, you know, the ultimate being, you know, he created everything. He won, instructed them. And so, uh, yeah. Six hours of eight, I can't tell you. We need to find the others. Yeah, that's right. Towards the beginning after they fight the deviants. This jabroni right here, I can't remember his name. That is correct. It does not matter what his name is. <laughs> he has the ability to like manipulate and control minds. But he is like the a personification of evil and wicked, right? He wants to start his own like little universe or whatever with the crap he doing, all right? So you don't hardly really see him but a little bit in the movies, right? You see him some at the beginning. You see him a little bit here and there, but for the most part, he's kind of hit and miss. The main ones you see in are Ajax, Icarus, and the other lady that creates stuff. I don't really remember that. I... All right, so Angelina Jolie's character, I think her name was, her name is Thena, if I'm not mistaken. She has the ability to create these weapons, you know, golden weapons, but apparently her memory is starting to fail her, right? And so there are times in the movie where she turns on people and fights, forgets who she is. She has to be reminded, all that good stuff. Hello? Right there, she didn't remember. Is this what the end of the world looks like? That's, I think her name was Sprite. I remember that because I love Sprite. You know what's never saved the planet? Your sarcasm. All right, so that guy right there, I think his name is Fat, 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 Fastest, Fist, whatever. But he has the ability to create stuff, as you can see, with his hands, create all these things with his hands. And it's pretty cool what he can do. These That's right they at the beginning. When you love something. Yep, see? See how he in it? You know, he looking at her? Yeah, they used to be a dynamic duo. And this was right when the, at the beginning, when the Deviant appeared and was trying to, uh, trying to kill the other return. But yeah, that's her, she does that. That's her power. 
Yeah. Now, at, now, just real quick, let me back up for a second. After Ajax dies, she becomes like the one. She absorbs the orb to be able to talk to Arisham, and that's how she finds out about you know the plan of Arisham and what he's trying to do, and the emergence is what's getting ready to happen. She is not down with that at all. She's like, bruh, like, what are you? Like, you're like, you're not who we thought you were, all right? All these centuries, they've been loyal to Arisham, but now all of a sudden, they can't ride with it. I think that, uh, his name, Kingo? Was it Kingo? I think so. That's right at the beginning, right there. Any of them. So this right here, you remember the deviant? I said that he used to be like that little, uh, that little you know, wild animal-looking thing, but he absorbed the powers, and now he's becoming like getting a more of a human form, right? And so before then, he was just walking around on all fours. Now he, you know, upright, standing, walking, and talking, right? And so he's telling her. He knows what's about to happen. And so he's telling her, you can't protect him. But literally, like, five seconds later, she cuts herself free and, like, kills him. So he's on. He's on. There's Icarus with his powers. Yep. Yeah, the, the deviants come show up to try to kill them again. So they went searching for other Eternals and then found him at home. All right, J-Rock says this, all right? What did I think of the movie, all right? Um, J-Rock is not the type of dude to sit here and uh, go by, you know, Rotten Tomatoes ratings, right? I have seen some of, some of the worst movies that I didn't like get some of the best ratings, right? And then I saw some movies that I absolutely love get some of the lower ratings, right? So I don't really go off of that. I like to see it for myself, keep an open mind. Now, there were some folks on social media saying that the movie was trash and all that, all right? J-Rock won't say it was trash, because it, it, it wasn't trash, all right? Um, but in order to answer the question, what I thought, oh, and by the way, the end credits, well, there were two of them, all right? The first one I ain't, I ain't really give a damn about personally. The second one, though, all right, um, where the guy in the background, you hear the voice saying, oh, you sure you're ready for that? Come to find out, that voice, was the voice of none other than the Daywalker himself, Blade. Blade has arrived in the MCU, baby. Okay? All right? People forget that Blade was like the first uh, Marvel superhero movie that really kind of helped launch this whole franchise. But we'll leave that alone. Shout out to Wesley Snipes for doing his thing. Uh, but yeah, it was the Daywalker, Blade. All right? And so that one was like, oh my goodness. Oh, our business just picked up, you know, in the voice of good old JR. What did J Rock think of the movie? Which one did J Rock think was better? The movie or the trailer? I gotta say this, all right? The movie has gotten a lot of bad view, uh, bad ratings, saying it's trash, right to be, oh my god, the movie sucks. J Rock is not gonna say the movie sucked, okay? It was a good movie, all right? The plot of the movie was, uh, and you know, kind of foggy at first really couldn't quite understand but once things were kind of put made out there made clear it was like okay all right now i see where we're going with this all right the point of all j rock guys i gotta know the plot of the movie like what's the purpose what what are we doing here you know right you guys are just sitting around playing eternal cards or something like that there has to be a purpose for all of this and the purpose was made pretty clear all right now apparently i found that icarus you know the the he at the end was getting ready to kill, uh, you know, the chick with, you know, the creative ability because she ultimately was the one that was able to stop the emergence. All right, her her abilities, her powers allowed her to be able to stop the emergence from happening. She literally had to freeze the ground because the celestial Arisham uh, or another celestial was getting ready to come out of the planet, and as it was doing so, I guess it was kind of absorbing all of the life 
on that planet and once it was fully formed everything around it was gonna die but with that being said she stopped him Icarus was right there about to blast her with his laser beam eyes but he remembered I care about this woman you and I used to be tight all right me and I you, we used to be a thing you know we used to have a thing going on so he don't kill her and so she ends up stopping him but he is so disappointed in himself, Icarus, that he literally flies into the sun and kills himself. And which is, I can't lie, that's a badass way to go, you know? I mean, you just fly into the sun, you know? You don't hang yourself, you don't, you say, damn it, I'm flying into the hottest star in the world, in the universe. Yeah. All right. Kind of a badass way to go, I guess. But anyway. Which one was better, the movie or the trailer? Well, J-Rock says this. If I had to pick one, if it was, I have to be honest. Yep, gotta be honest. The trailer was better. The trailer was better than the movie. Yeah, it was. The movie wasn't bad. bad. It wasn't horrible. It just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. All right, it, it wasn't. Would I watch it again? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't pay money to watch it, but if it's like on, you know, like a streaming service that I got and it's there, okay, yeah, I'll watch it, no problem. You smell what the but I felt pumped after the uh, trailer more so than I was after the movie, right? And there wasn't anything funky in the, in the trailer that, you know, they put in the trailer that wasn't in the final cut. For the most part, everything that was in the final, in the trailer was in the movie, right? But all in all, I have to say the trailer was better than the movie. All right? That is J-Rock's opinion. You may or may not agree. Uh, but that's what J-Rock said. All right? Now, what say you? All right? Go vote on the people's poll and put it in the comment section as well which one you thought was better. Make sure you go and check out the other uh, movie versus trailer reviews I have on the Great Ones channel. All right? And let me know about those as well. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the Great One's reaction, you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Be sure that you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell what J-Rock is cooking.